it a fireball? Not a fireball, Squidgy. A soccer ball. And look, more soccer balls. <laughs> cool! Huh? Hey, do you think someone is kicking a ball against the wall on the other side? Oh, that's where these balls came from. I get it. It's a soccer playing dragon. <laughs> I don't think dragons play soccer, Squidgy. <laughs> I knew that. Well, whoever it is, I bet they want their ball back. <clears throat> Oops. Now it's stuck in that tree. I'll get it! It's okay. Almost got it. Squidgy, wait right there. We're coming up. We are? Yeah, thanks for the help, guys, but I'm sure I can get the ball myself. I had an idea. Look how our weight is bending the branch down to the wall. Gotcha. We did it. Here. I'll hold the branch while you guys climb down. Thank you, Justin. Well, we got the ball back. Well, now we can give it back to the dragon. <laughs> I've never been on the other side of the wall. I wonder who lives there. Let's go find out. But how are we going to get there? Hmm. Look! Another tree! We can use it to get down the other side. The noise is coming from over there. Come on. Ah, oh, it's a little girl. Hello. <laughs> Need another ball? My ball. Thanks. Where did you find it? Over there. You're from the other side of the wall? That's right. My name's Olive. And these are my friends, Justin and Squidgy. Hi, everyone. I'm Shuyu. Hi, Hi Shuyu. 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 What a pretty name. I've never heard that name on my side of the wall. How did you get over the wall, anyway? We climbed up a tree on the other side. Then we came down that tree. You know, this side of the wall sure looks a lot like my side. Yeah, except they have lots of kites over here. Let's go. <gasps> My kites! I thought I lost them all. I tried flying them, but I wasn't very good. Maybe you can show me how. Sure. But since we're on your side of the wall, want to play soccer first? Okay. <laughs> to play with. Me too. And now you can play with each other anytime you want. The blue neighborhood's really nice. Yeah, the sky is blue and it's everywhere. And blueberries are blue too. My favorite. <gasps> and the ocean is blue. <laughs> <laughs> Olive, how about some blue boat bumpers for Preeti? Blue is best. Oh, those boat bumpers do look nice. What do you think, Preeti? <laughs> Blue is a very peaceful color, and it can make you look very important, too. If you wear my blue boat bumpers to the Festival of Colors, oh, everyone will be turning their heads. And if any boats decide to bump into you, you'll be ready for them. I mean, isn't that what they're really for? How about it, Preeti? Do you want to try blue? You won't regret it. Okay, gang, let's get to work. Wow, you look great. Looking sharp. <laughs> 
Blue really does suit you. Like I said, blue is the best choice. <laughs> and let me just get rid of these yellow flowers for you. I just sweep them up the side. Well, Preeti, you've tried red, yellow, and now blue. Which one's the best color? Yeah, which one are you going to wear to the festival? Remember, you can only pick one. Is it red? No, it's yellow, right? No, blue, blue, pick blue. Which one are you going to pick? Are you going to pick blue? No, yellow. I thought red looked nice. No, blue really no, suited no, me. No, yellow. Red. No, red. <laughs> oh, pretty. Why are you sad? Uh, what are you looking at, Preeti? <laughs> oh, that? I just got a little sloppy with my paintbrush. <laughs> no, 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 no! Hey, where are you going, Preeti? Wait! Preeti, where are you going? Come back! We've got to go after her! Follow oh, that, that elephant. elephant! So you did choose yellow after all? No, no! Preeti's choosing blue! Yellow suits her better. So you've decided on red, have you? No, no. Preeti's choosing yellow. It's blue, I tell you. No, red looks best. You'll see. Follow that! <gasps> Preeti! Preeti, you were only supposed to pick one color. The best color? Yes, red. Yellow, of course. Definitely blue. something? I kind of like your yellow on my blue. And your blue looks great on my yellow. And both colors look fantastic on my red. Wow, Preeti, you did choose the best color. And that's why Preeti couldn't decide what the best color is. There is no best color. All colors are good. <laughs> they certainly are. Thank you, Preeti. Yes, thank you. Now this is a festival of colors. Whoa! Now that's a lion costume. Thanks! I'm Min! I'm Jin! Huh? <laughs> We're the Lion Dance Twins! Cool! Uh, what's a lion dance? You dress up as a lion and dance around for good luck! It's the best part of Chinese New Year! <gasps> New Year? I love New Year! <laughs> That's the spirit, Squidgy. Happy New Year, everyone! Olive! Hey, Justin. Hi, Squidgy. Welcome to Shanghai. We are about to have the biggest New Year's party ever. Are you doing the lion dance too? I want to, but I need some partners. We'll do the lion dance with you. Really? Yeah, lion <laughs> dance! Rawr. So, where's your lion costume, Olive? I don't have one yet. I was going to see Mr. Lee about that. Oh, Mr. Lee! He knows everything about lion dancing. Do you want to come and see him too? No, thanks. We already have our awesome costume. Watch this! <gasps> <laughs> wow! Flappy ears, blinky eyes, and a chompy mouth! What a cool costume! Justin, we have to get one! Yeah! Let's get one just like that. Mr. Lee will have exactly what we need. Awesome! Mr. Lee, are you there? Hmm? Huh, no one's home. <laughs> Look at this cool lion! Whoa. Happy 
Happy New Year, everyone! Happy New Year, Mr. Lee. These are my friends, Justin and Squidgy. Happy, Happy New, New Year. Year! We're going to do the lion dance with Olive. I see. So, you are here to learn the lion claw? Or the lion pounce? Or maybe the lion with the itchy ear? <laughs> Actually, we're just looking for a lion costume. The best one you've got. Yeah, one that roars. Of course. Here you go. This costume isn't very colorful. Oh, and it doesn't roar. Mr. Lee, about this costume, we were thinking... You want a better costume, don't you? Yes, exactly. We want to be the best lion dancers ever. Yeah! Then follow me. Bring the costume, but don't let it touch the ground. Hey, Ninja Squidgy. Hey, Ninja Justin. Someone's coming. Hide! <laughs> Ninjas are great at hiding. Psst. Hi, guys. <gasps> Olive! Ninja Olive, welcome to ancient Japan. Japan? Whoa! Look at this place. Who lives here? The Emperor. It's his birthday, and we're planning a surprise party. Surprise party? I love surprise parties. Shh. It's a secret surprise party. Ooh, a secret. What are we going to give him for his birthday? I'm going to use my ninja skills to find out what his favorite things are. Need some help? We're ninjas, too. Great. My ninja skill is jumping. Watch this. <gasps> <laughs> my ninja skill is sneaking. Watch this. And my ninja skill is, um... You're Squidgy. That's your ninja skill. I'm Squidgy! Right. Shh. Let's go. Oh. Ah. It's okay. I'm good. I'm good. There's the Emperor. But he's too far away to spy on. From here, maybe. But not from up here. Awesome! Oh, hello, Mr. Doggy. <gasps> A dog! Oh, no! He's going to give us away! <laughs> Want to play? Hey, hey, hey! Good idea, Squidgy. You keep him busy while we find out what the Emperor likes. Okay! Olive, this is our chance. Go, go, go! What is he doing? Can't see. We have to get closer. Hmm. Ah, butterfly. Yikes! <gasps> Phew. Hmm. He's been folding paper butterflies. He must really like them. I'll write that down. The Emperor really likes butterflies. What's that, Olive? This is my secret ninja scroll. It's like a rolled up notebook. Bang, 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 bang. <laughs> Thank you. That was fun. Now don't tell the emperor about our secret surprise party. <laughs> Good work, Squidgy. <laughs> this shortcut is great. <laughs> oh no! Well, 
at least you have one left. Right. We'd better hurry or we won't make it to the moon festival. Another successful shortcut. Well, it was faster, but now I only have one mooncake left. Oh, no! The festival's gonna start soon. We'd better hurry. Time for another shortcut. Instead of going all the way around the swamp, why don't we go across it? We can jump across those rocks. Well, we do have to hurry, so... Uh, okay, let's do it. Shortcut! Sure. See? No problemo. Huh? Crocodiles? Uh, Olive! They smell your mooncake! But I've only got one left. We have to get out of the swamp. Quick! <laughs> Give me your hand! <gasps> that was close. Now let's get your last mooncake to the festival. Hey, look, there's Lily! The crocodiles smell Lily's giant mooncake. We've got to warn her. Lily, look out for the crocodile! Huh? Oh, hi, Justin. Something, Justin. Hang on, Lily. Come on. Yikes, they're coming to get us. <laughs> they sure do like mooncake. Well, I've got one right here. <laughs> okay, Lily. Here's our chance. Let's stick to the path and go around the swamp. <laughs> Justin, that was a close one. But now we have no more of your mooncakes for the festival, Olive. I know. I'm sorry. Maybe faster isn't always better. It's okay, Justin. I'm just glad we're all safe. Can we still go to the moon festival? We have no more mooncakes. But I do. If you guys help me carry my mooncake, we might just make it to the festival in time. Yeah, okay, Lily, yeah. sure. To the The best mooncake ever, made by our friend Lily. Oh, it is the biggest mooncake I ever seen. Mm, and the most delicious. However, it's just not fancy enough. I'm afraid Lily can't win. I know. See? And delicious. I hereby declare that both Lily and Olive are the new royal bakers. <laughs> now, let the moon festival begin! <laughs> delicious!
gonna do? We'll never get there on time. Nothing's going to stop us, remember? But we're still only halfway around the twisty, curvy loop. I know. What if we make our train shorter? <gasps> we're going to shrink the train? <laughs> I think Justin means we'll leave some of the cars behind. We could leave the train back at the second station. Good idea. That'll make the train way lighter. Come on, let's go. on the main track, so we'll need to do a lot of switching. Oh, oh, I'm good at switching! that they don't want for things that they do want. <laughs> what do you trade, Olive? I'm a bead merchant. I travel all around the world on my boat to trade beads for things that make me happy. Cool. When are you going? Well, I was hoping to leave tonight, but I can't go anywhere until I get my new sail. Oh, this sail is full of holes. Exactly. I need to trade my beads for a new one. Well, Squidgy and I are really good traders. We can help you. Oh, yeah! We love making trades! Then come with me! Justin, look! <laughs> Toys! Ladies and gentlemen, girls and boys, make a trade for games and toys! <laughs> Ravi is the name. Would you like a toy or a game? Hi, Ravi. We really like your toys. Want to do a little trading? Sure. You can have any toy you like, as long as it's a good trade. A, a good, good trade? A good trade makes me happy. A bad trade makes me sad. The best trade is the one that makes everyone be glad. Hey! 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 Ravi's right. A good treat is one where everybody's happy. I've a whistle like a bird. I'm a monkey on a swing. And a camel that bobs up and down when you pull the string. Hey! Hey! Fun. And this monkey's kind of cute, but I love this bird whistle. Would you trade a whistle for one of my beads, Ravi? Hmm. A tempting offer you've made. But if you give me two beads, then that's the perfect trade. Okay, Ravi. Let's make a trade. We made a trade! Oh boy, oh boy! Here you go. Enjoy your toy. That's what I call a good trade. Is there anything else you might like? 
This wooden doll? A one-wheeled bike. Hmm. A one-wheeled bike is nice, but I really need a new sail for my boat. A sail for your boat? I know just the shop. Walk down this way. It's a skip and a hop. All right. Let's go. Thanks, Ravi. Happy trading. And who are you? I'm Kung Fu Master Justin. Hiya! Hmm. Hmm. And you, the little yellow thing. I'm Junior Kung Fu Master Squidgy. He taught me everything I know. Hmm. Excellent. You're just what I need. I hereby pronounce you Guardians of the Royal Duck. We won't let you down, sir. Um, Justin? You're not really Kung Fu Masters, are you? Not yet. But I practice every week. Hmm. The barbarians are hungry, right? Very. They've eaten five ducks this week. So if we fill up their tummies, they won't be hungry anymore. Huh? My mom always says if I eat ice cream, I won't have room for dinner. <gasps> Did somebody say ice cream? Ooh, chocolate, vanilla, fudge. I don't know which one to eat first. Uh, Not so fast, Squidgy. That ice cream's for the barbarians. And here they come. Ice cream! Get your free ice cream! Ice cream? We love ice cream! Eat as much as you want. That was good. Now for dessert, Peking Duck! Ha! What you just had dessert! Ha! 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 They took my duck again! Oh, they're just so rude! <laughs> what are you doing now, Olive? I'm making dumplings. I roll them out like this, and then I fill them with yummy stuff. <laughs> They're really strong and rubbery, Olive. I know. My dumplings are the rubberiest in all of China. Hmm. Just how big can you make those dumplings, Olive? As big as I want. Why? Do you want to try filling up the barbarians' tummies again? No. I've got a better idea. What we need is a strong gate. And nothing stronger than your dumplings, Olive. Hmm. Oh, ah, oh, ah. Ah! They're coming! <gasps> Come on, Olive! I'm bigger. I'm thinner. We're coming for our dinner. We are barbarians. Hoo-ha, hoo-ha. for a celebration! <gasps> mm, Extra rubbery, just the way I like them. <gasps> and duck, too! <laughs> Thanks, Olive. Yes, thank you, Olive. Everyone, eat! Hi, Justin. Hi, Squidgy. <laughs> <laughs> Olive! Welcome to Bali. This is my puppet shop. Wow, your puppets are cool. Oh, look, a cute little tiger. <laughs> and a beautiful birdie. And a sweet little snake. <laughs> snake! It's okay, Squidgy. It's just a puppet. Watch this. Hey, how did you do that? By wiggling these sticks. That looks fun. 
Can I try your puppet, Olive? Sure. Here. Ah! A snake! <laughs> Squidgy, it's just a puppet, remember? <laughs> yeah, right. Do you want to give it a try? No, it's okay. Come on, Squidgy. What if you try that one? A butterfly. I thought you might like it. <laughs> Look, I'm a puppeteer, too. Hey, Olive, why don't we put on a puppet show? Oh, oh, can we, can we? You betcha. And I know the perfect place. This is my puppet theater. And that's where I keep my puppets. Cool. A puppet chest. <gasps> Aw, look at this little bunny. I like this bird. Wee, fluttery butterfly. <laughs> hippity hoppity, hippity hoppity, hippity hop. Hello, Mr. Butterfly. Hello, Squeaky. Nice to see you. <gasps> oh, hello, Mr. Monkey. <laughs> Huh? Squidgy, you found my friend Buddy. He loves my puppets. Maybe he'd like to watch our show. What do you think, Buddy? <laughs> oh, he said yes. <laughs> you want to try my butterfly puppet? <laughs> okay, you just hold it like this, and you move it up and down. Here. Right. Now you move it up and down. That's it. You're getting it. Um, Squidgy. <laughs> Careful with that, buddy. <laughs> Uh-oh. Olive, buddy broke the butterfly. No problem, Squidgy. I can fix that. Can you please hand me that stick, buddy? <laughs> Thanks. There you go, buddy. Good as... Hey, where'd Buddy go? <laughs> <laughs> Buddy, what are you doing in the puppet chest? <laughs> oh, I know. Puppets sure are fun. <laughs> Buddy says he really wants to play with the puppets. Sorry, those puppets break very easily. Mm -hmm. Why don't we play something else? Good idea. So what do you want to play? to play tag. I guess I'm it, but not for long. Tag! Huh? You're it now, Olive! <laughs> <laughs> I'll get you! <laughs> <laughs> now I'm it! <laughs> Hurry! Look what Dad found in the attic. Oh, <gasps> drums! You sound great! Yeah, Dad says if I want to be a real drummer, though, I'm going to need some practice. But I think I'm pretty good. Oh, Justin, you're the best! Watch this, Squidgy. Imagine playing a big show. On a big stage! On a big drum. On a huge drum! On the biggest drum in the entire world! <laughs> That's the biggest drum I've ever seen! Olive! Justin, Squidgy! Konnichiwa! That means hello. Konnichiwa! Welcome to Nagoya, Japan! Thanks! You're just in time for the Tanabata Festival. The what -a -bata? <laughs> The Tanabata Festival. It happens every year on the seventh day of the seventh month. <laughs> That's today. Is it a drumming festival? It is. 
Except we still need a few more drummers for tonight's big show. We're, We're drummers. drummers! Perfect! Now we just need our drum leader to arrive. Konnichiwa! I am Ichigo, and this is Saru. <laughs> Konnichiwa! Nice to meet you, Ichigo. Hi, Saru! I'm Olive, and these are my friends, Justin and Squidgy. Konnichiwa! Can we start drumming now? Of course we can. Shall we pick our taikos? Taiko is the Japanese word for drum. I'll play this one. The Great Odaiko? Only the best drummers can play that one. Well, I'm really good at drumming. Well, it's not that easy to play. You need to practice a lot. Nah, I don't need to practice. Oh, 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 oh. No practicing? You must be the greatest drummer ever! Cool! He is cool! I am! We cannot wait to play with you! <laughs> I have forgotten Saru's snack, and he's getting hungry. Uh, could you uh, uh, watch Saru while I go find him something to eat? <laughs> We'll have fun with the Saru. He loves to play games. I love games! Ah! Very good. Uh, see you later, Saru. <laughs> see you later, Ichigo. What game should we play, Saru? Why don't we just play drums? <laughs> Saru says drums are fun, and he really wants to see you play, Justin. Sure. I'm sorry, Saru. There must be something wrong with this Odaiko. Hey, where are you going? He wants to play another game. Okay, Saru. We're right behind you. 